so I hope you had the chance to take a look at those two little exercises I gave you. Uh, if not, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to do that together in this lecture, starting with the status bar across all of our artboards uh, and then coming back in here and using an action sheet um, so that once the user clicks edit order, it gives them some options. So first things first, let's head on over back to our Apple UI kit. Uh, and because we have mostly a light background across our navigation bars. We're going to use the status bar here instead of the dark one over here. So let's go ahead and simply copy the status bar from here. Go back over here and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it with our other Apple assets here so that we have our instance here. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just copy that over to our all, all of our pages. So we don't necessarily need it in our splash screen, uh, but we do want it on our login page. So let's go ahead and click login page, paste that in there by using command V. And I'm going to go ahead and just use shift and the up arrows a bunch of times until it's fully at the top there. Perfect. We're going to come back and add a little cool blur effect to that in a bit. All right, so while we're on our login page, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the status bar. Uh, but this time, uh, make sure you only select the status bar in here. So this group here without the BG layer over here, which is the background. So make sure you only copy the status bar and then go ahead and select the phone verification. Hold shift, select the main menu. And while holding shift, select the order and order progress pages too. And then go ahead and click command V all across. And so that will go ahead and paste our status bar across our pages, um, all in the same location as we have here. The only thing I want to do here in the form verification is just bring or shift everything down by 20 pixels. So there's enough space. We can even do 30. I think that looks better. Again, the more white space you have between things, the better. You don't want to cram your design into a small screen, such as an iPhone screen. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and copy the status bar. So we're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and do that one more time by copying this entire status bar group over to our profile, payment, location, and order history pages too. And so now all of our frames have that status bar in them, which is what we're looking for. Uh, and now we're ready to move on to our action sheet over here. Um, and so for that one, we're going to switch back here and go to our action sheet, which should be under here. There we go. I'm going to copy the entire action sheet over here. Make sure you select this group and go ahead and copy it over to your design here. I'm going to paste it here in the pasteboard on the side. And then we're going to go ahead and edit the title to edit order. And in this little description, we're just going to write make changes to your order. And for this first action, we're going to do edit order. For the second action, we're going to do cancel order. And for this third one, we're going to do contact restaurant. Perfect. And so now if they click on this edit order, it will open up this um, alert or action sheet um, over which uh, we don't have to worry about right now. But we, when we are prototyping, uh, you'll see why this is useful. So that's the exercise. Um, we're going to take a quick pause here before we come back and continue on our designs.